have Dragisha. Uh, he'll, Hi. <laughs> uh, you, you'll get to meet him very soon, and he'll tell us more about cassette decks. Uh, Dragisha has a long history uh, with computers. Too long history, yeah. And cassettes. <laughs> so who, who better to tell us about it than, than Dragisha himself? So let's give a round of applause for him. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's say um, I can. Mm, it came on my mind mm, during the call for paper sessions for this uh, for this conference that I may present one of my hobby projects, and it came like like the French people would say par hasard. That means only occasionally. And that means that I would like to, let's say, present to the, to the community something uh, which uh, can be, uh, let's say, really inspirational when you uh, like to build in the things. Uh, what's going on? It's going on about the cassette decks. And uh, I'm not quite sure there is a lot of young people here. I'm not quite sure that you all know that, what the, the, are the cassette decks. In fact, those are the hi-fi components which were in on top of their popularity almost 30 years ago. That means I have more than 30 years. That means it's, ob it's obvious, but let's say it's not the fact that, that I'm much happy for, but it's not the point right now. Uh, the point is that all of those, uh, you can see here different facts. That means uh, it has a little bit... Uh, pretty long lifespan, that means it's produced almost uh, 30 years without any problems. It's also minimal zone uh, uh, of pieces. Uh, a lot of them is, uh, let's say, bring the Japan to the throne of the consumer electronics. And uh, the point is that uh, all of the devices those, day, those days are started somehow to decaying, that means Electronic is cool, everything what is inside is cool, but what is not cool is the mechanic part. Uh, because when you want to listen to the tape, you need to put something, some cartridge, which look, let's say, like this, and it's magnetic tape inside, and uh, it has some, let's say, playheads, some system of pulleys, rubbers, and so on and so on, and it... Uh, converts magnetic signal from the tape towards the, to do some kind of electronics. That means pure electronic device, pure galactica. There is nothing connected to any kind of net or something like that. Uh, but the, and uh, finally, uh, I, need to revive, I wanted to revive this somehow. And how? Uh, I, what was the inspiration? In fact, I have several of those devices at my home. And that I still listen to the music from my teenage period. As you can see, there's a lot of tapes still working. And uh, during the maintenance, you need to, let's say, pull every, uh, every two or three months, you need to pull tape out of the, of the box, put it into the deck, do the full rewind forward and back, and occasionally play something that you are up to, depending on your mood. And then children start to play, of course, with that, like always. And... Uh, this younger one, which is took from the back, from, uh, from your right side, started to scroll uh, over the, the day box, and she asked me, why don't you swipe it this way? And I said, okay, maybe we can find something, we, we can make something interesting regarding that, and to, let's say, I have four decks which are not usable anymore due to the mechanics problems, so why don't extend the life by putting some kind of electronics instead of mechanic part itself? And uh, I did some, let's say, background check on the net to see what's going on. Did somebody came up on the similar idea? And it appears that it happens. Some guys from, some guy from Poland use all Android devices to, let's say, make this uh, missing mechanic part. And it works somehow, but not the way I, I liked. I, uh, because uh, you, uh, in that, uh, when you use, let's say, his approach, you cannot use the, all the commands which are already found on the, on, the, on the deck itself. Play, stop, record, rewind, forward, stop, pause, and so on and so on. You can only swipe left and right or up and down to change the song, which is, 
let's say, not my cup of tea in that moment. Uh, in other uh, words, he still uses, let's say, the door and this, and this deck just for the screen cover. I don't want to do that. I want to have, let's say, um, sc uh, scrollable screen here that you can use the dual controls. That means you can interact with the screens. This is for the millennials and for younger people. And for our, well, for our dinosaurs, there is also a full command stack on the panel of the deck. And also, I want to keep the record function, which doesn't exist anywhere so far, so far I found. So the point was, OK, I'll dive into something, so, and I will see what's going on, where I, where I will finish. So I, as any kind of, let's say, average engineer, I put some requirements on the table. And those requirements that I need to set up mm, uh, to have some uh, I want to build standalone hi-fi component. That means it must be in Galactica mode. That means not connected to any kind of network anytime. It can be, but this is not the prerequisite. The second thing is it must be instantly on. That means I don't want to wait, want to have however minutes that it becomes operational. I need to, uh, to have all, as I always mentioned, all the records, all the comments uh, from the front panel provided, uh, that it works, and I also need to, that it's gonna be a little bit cheap. That means I don't, because this is less kind of uh, project which is done in the spare time, that means like a hobby, and I, I have, let's say, 15 to 25 minutes a day maximum to invest in that, because of first of the, from the second slide, children. That means uh, I need to optimize things a lot. And uh, let's say the price range might be, uh, all costs must be covered with 100 euros. I want to contribute somehow to the community. That means it's going to be open source, must uh, be supported by both leading mobile platforms, means Android and iOS. And it should be, let's say, uh, that's pretty much all of it. On the right side, you can see how uh, the I, I have luck that I have appropriate deck already available at my home. This is uh, at the first picture. This is how it used to work a long time ago, and this is uh, the second picture is from yesterday evening after all the hard preparation uh, to have it complete, have it done. You need also the, the, the hardware preparation first. Hardware requirements means you need to, uh, OK, we'll, I decide that it should be built on the Raspberry Pi. Why on Raspberry Pi? It runs Linux. OK, I know somehow how to program for Linux. Uh, I, it has uh, 20, four, 26, I forgot exactly the number of the general purpose IO ports, uh, which are digital, but never mind. OK, I will use to transfer the controls uh, from the main panel. Uh, should have its own storage. OK, it, has, it runs from the SD card. That means there is no problem from the storage from a lot of playlists. Perform some Wi-Fi. Why perform some Wi-Fi? I, I don't want to pull the SD card out. I want to use Wi-Fi to, to provide, let's say, some more music. And the final requirement is should uh, work with Qt, uh, and also to have a kind of touch screen which is more or less decent. And you can see on the picture on the right, it, uh, this is this uh, Raspberry Pi. The screen is not decent, but this is, uh, let's say, uh, something which you will get one day by trial and error. This is the best screen so far I could found, but I, I heard that there's some better screens, so I'll pick up the better, I mean, this is very expensive, it's about $16 on, on AliExpress, so I don't find the problem to experiment a little bit with that. Okay, this is the hardware finance, and uh, the, here is also the, the check of the price list. I have the old deck. If somebody wants to do that, I will. I can have. I have two more to spend, so you can contact me later. I will give you one without any problems. 
Uh, you need to buy Raspberry Pi with the screen, this is 60 euros. Uh, and the most important part is do some electronic things inside. What is important? It's important to bring the decent power supply. That, needs, that means you need to do some, make some a voltage divider from the existing power supply within the deck. And you, can, and you need to get some operational amplifier for the attenuation. That means uh, despite the volume strength, on the, which will, the audio signal will be took for this iteration from the uh, 3.5 millimeter audio output from the Pi itself. That means it will go somewhere. And uh, because we, uh, I need to have, uh, let's say, hardware, uh, um, uh, I need to have the volume level steady, despite the fact how you um, maybe push the volume control up and down. Uh, one, uh, let's say, uh, attenuator with uh, operation amplifier will be put there. I will, uh, later you will see, uh, I will provide the schematic for all of that in the repo. It's not complicated uh, to, to be made. I mean, by yourself, you need to have only basic craftsmanship regarding soldering, and, and that's that. And finally, you need to, because we will remove the door, you need to, to have some decent coverage around it. Find somebody who, ha who has 3D printer, and he will make you for maximum te 10 euros. So, OK, we covered that part about, about the pricing. So uh, let's go for the software. When we install the hardware, we will install the software. OK, we'll have some kind of uh, uh, re uh, basic requirements for that. I already mentioned everything, what, what is important. And uh, we'll switch to the um, what is, um, let's say, maybe unusual here nowadays is a QT. Why QT? Um, QT is, uh, from my personal point of view and from my experience, QT is something what, is, uh, what can be very, really close to the unicorn solution. And what is uni the unicorn solution on the mobile platforms? The, uh, from where I, let's say, the commercial development for, for the mobile platform exists, as far as I know, uh, many teams or basically bosses do that because they want to cut the expenses want to have the same platform which will do the same thing on Android and iOS. And uh, somehow everything was pointed to JavaScript, but uh, from my point of view, that ain't going to work. OK, it worked for some simple things, but if you need to catch with uh, any kind of sensors that fall into the water, I would like to see the application when it really works uh, using the JavaScript as a basis. If it works, I, I'm totally ready to admit it, but so far it doesn't. I also use Qt in, let's say, two projects, which are not so complicated, but from my point of view, it has, uh, that have two really big uh, advantages. First, it's a really, really small app. That means the footprint is minimal, and it's fast like a hell. This is, uh, if you, any time in your life, deal with the Raspberry Pi, you will know that this is uh, one of the crucial requirements. Uh, and uh, this is, let's, uh, let's say, why the QT? Uh, and uh, the QT mm, uh, has one also big advantages, and this is the mm, possibility to, let's say, make a really good uh, design if you, have, if you have enough time. And uh, this lady from the first row said that I'm a visual person uh, regarding my zodiac sign. That means it must be really beautiful what, uh, what I'm building. So I want to build something similar, some similar lay layout like skeuomorphic. Uh, but uh, that it really represents the tape when you look at it. But I don't want to, let's say, to, um, uh, to do it three times. One for on iOS native, one on Android native, one on for, let's say, player native. So I decide to use the Qt. And um, uh, it's, let's say, pretty forward if you are already 
used to build something in C++ if you're not um, consider it as a challenge, but the, let's say the basic code will be provided, so it's up to you to, let's say, uh, build it for yourself and to expand it if you want. Uh, I mean, the core will be provided, that means the most heavy lifting will be already done. So, basically, that's it. And uh, also, this, uh, because this is a proprietary environment, this is, uh, uh, as far as I know, Nokia is now owner of the Qt, the free edition is, has the worst, worst editor I ever saw in my life. I mean, the only worst was, let's say, maybe the Microsoft Studio, Visual Studio 6.0. That was some 20 years ago. Um, okay, and we will have clean architecture approach. Uh, I don't know how, how many of you are following, let's say, this... Uh, um, uh, clean architecture, which is uh, ad heavily advocating by its own inventor, Robert C. Martin, but I'm totally, let's say, uh, want to uh, use that and practice it every time when I need. Why? Because uh, um, at the first sight, it gets you a lot of layers, it gets you a lot, maybe unnecessary complication, you need to isolate whichever your part of your software it's you are working but in one moment it gives you one resources which you cannot buy with any money and this is the time and when you uh, when you arrive one day for 20 and 25 years in my age you will understand why the time is let's say the most important resource that, that you have so let's say we are we will perform the clean architecture that will save, save us a lot of time and this is something how it Looks, for example, on uh, on mobile platform itself. That means this is this is uh, uh, image taken uh, took, uh, taken from the Clean Swift. You are, uh, is there any iOS dev here? Somebody dealing with iOS nine? Okay. <laughs> Somebody with Android? Okay. Yes, I know for you. Okay. Uh, the point is. Uh, despite the fact that uh, iOS architecture is, let's say, proprietary, Android is pu all public and more or less open source and so on, the same, the paradigms are similar. That means when we have UI view, that means this is something what represents, uh, what are the container for the visual aspect. That means UI view is uh, uh, Android uh, paradigm of, of activity. Uh, IB outlets and serial controls are paradigms for the buttons or text or something like that. That means uh, this uh, skin can, uh, this layout, for example, can be applied for both platforms. And that means, please, uh, in general, in one word, means please leave the, um, uh, the main thread, that means UI thread, without any job and left anything to, anything to, the, to the appropriate uh, working threads. And, okay. Uh, this is that was some little theory about architecture, how it should work on 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 Raspberry Pi. Okay, we'll have three components. We'll have a widget, which is Qt layer. We'll have player. I don't I don't have enough time to build my, the player by myself. That means I will take player from some kind of open source. And uh, from my point of view, Clementine is very good. Uh, solution for that. It's not too big, uh, it's uh, uh, really low on resources, it works on any platforms that you can imagine today, that means it's going to work on Raspberry Pi too. Uh, you can access to the old code, you can fork it, contribute, that means this is not a problem at all. Uh, we'll have a kind of wrapper which will bring the app to the, to the screen, and communication layer. We'll have a kind of communication between between, uh, let's say, the, this application and the, uh, and the Android or iOS one. Uh, you can write the wrapper in the language by choice. That means whatever you want. I will choose C++ in that, in that case uh, for the sake of the speed of the first release, but uh, there is a lot uh, of uh, connectivity layers which Qt offers. That means you can do in whatever you want, even in JavaScript if you want. Maybe somebody wants. And uh, it's going to be released one day also. Is when I finish everything, it's going to be in open source. Okay. 
Android is pretty similar, but we don't have player here. Uh, why don't we have player? We don't need it. We, uh, in that case, on the Android, on the mobile device, we'll need to have player controls. That's obvious. And we'll have, let's say, representation of what we are playing in that moment. That's also obvious. But we don't play for, for the Android device or iOS device itself. The some standalone device, which is in your hi-fi stack, will play. So this is, let's say, we'll have activity uh, and your controller, let's say, is going a little bit modern. So we'll uh, apply the latest uh, Jetpack approaches. We'll import the Qt widget with, that we already made. We will have some kind of adapter, which will, which will made in Swift. Uh, or, 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 uh, which remain in the in the Kotlin. We also have some environment which, which is, uh, I mean, environment. Uh, this is activity which is many form, and we'll have we'll have the connectivity layer towards Qt, uh, towards uh, Raspberry Pi that will be written also in in Kotlin. Uh, iOS is pretty similar, just change Kotlin with Swift, and basically that's it. Why Kotlin and why Swift? Uh, Swift is, let's say, for, for iOS is language of choice, almost five years. And it's, pretty, um, it's pretty fast. Uh, it's not so, uh, it uh, gives you too much freedom, for example, which I find uh, as a drawback because it can it, it can allow you to write some unnatural constructions and some weird things, but uh, with appropriate let's say culture and uh, approach to the programming, it's gonna be let's say overrided and uh, any kind of C++ code is integrated seamlessly without any problems. Just attach the library and basically that's it. On, on Android part, this is a little bit different. There is a, uh, this is not only regarding Kotlin, this is regarding everything what is, what is connected to the, uh, what is uh, between, uh, on, let's say, native interop C++ and Java or Kotlin, whatever is on the, to on the top layer. Um, you need to do some kind of preparation first, then to, uh, uh, employ some tools from the from the Android toolbox and so on. It's 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 tedious for the first time, but uh, everything else, uh, when you got let's say the the final result pack to to introduce the the point is the same, like you uh, got the new library, put it into into your code, uh, uh, all the let's say public exposed. Items will be uh, will be visible to your code, and you can get the whatever you want. In that case, we'll get only the signals, uh, what's going on with the music itself, and basically why? Because this is the purpose of the mobile app. If you don't want to stand up and let's say I would like to stand up because I used to that to touch the button on the on the play recorded. But let's say it's 21st century, we want to be a little bit lazy and so on and so on. So it might be convenient that we play with the tapes, which will be on your screen and you somehow, let's say, do that. And basically, this is how everything started. Uh, how far it went so far? Hardware is completed, basic software layer is completed, and basic software layer on mobile platforms for the remote is completed. It's too far for, let's say, that something is uh, yet finished, uh, but uh, I have faith somehow. I'm working on it every day. Let's say this, this is, uh, let's say, this, uh, this Japanese Kaizen approach. Every day in five minutes, it, it's more than every day zero minutes. So it will be finished one day. <laughs> and... Uh, when I finish that, it's going to be something like that. It's going to be open source. It's under the GPL library. It will be exposed in, into your own, uh, into own repo. That means anybody who wants to do it further can do that. And uh, I think uh, maybe in one of the sessions, I don't know where, we're going to make a kind of uh, workshop when something like uh, hands-on and demo can be can be made and basically that's it so far thank you very much 
I'm open for questions, whatever you want. Even if anybody wants, can take this cassette. It's not working. <laughs> questions? Yeah. Uh, as I understood, uh, you want to connect uh, uh, commands from, uh, from a deck, right? Yep. To IO port. Uh, exactly. And what's about a counter? Will what's about? A counter. Uh, counter, it yes. depends. Uh, uh, it's a really good question. Uh, it depends from the deck to deck. When you have mechanical counter, that means this one has mechanical counter, uh, that ain't going to work. That means that ain't going to work. We can, let's say, uh, this is a pity, but it ain't uh, that ain't gonna work. But uh, what is most interesting in this part is the sound, and the sound uh, which will will be. Let's go through the every discrete uh, every discrete element of the deck itself. That means this fine audio electronic components will be maintained. So if you have some kind of Sony from the Esprit series or let's say kind of Nakamitis or Denon from the DRM, it, the sounds can be really good. I mean, it must be, um, it's for sure, it might be um, better than original. Why better? Because cassettes have, to be honest, has awful sound. I, it is never attempted to be a hi-fi device. This is... Uh, uh, tapes become uh, hi-fi devices by, uh, I will use the new long term from yesterday, by exception. That means they used the gap hole uh, which uh, existed in that moment and they take the role of the main sound carrier. Uh, thanks to one thing, uh, that they could in that moment can be the only media on, on which you can record the sound. And that was the, let's say, the main selling point. Uh, good questions. It can be done on digital. Uh, with, uh, you know, there's a, let's say, newer decks from the middle of the 80s till the end of the product lines. They all have digitals. And uh, I mean, this is, uh, you, you need exactly one uh, GPIO to, to provide the counting. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Um, would you support a feature when you do like fast forward and play? So exactly. Play? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, this is something that you you will solve that, that was solved by mechanics, but you will provide that by software. And uh, what is let's say the mm, most intriguing here is how I get the commands from the co command panel of the deck. Okay, um, some decks have relays, some decks have electronic switches. When you have electronic switches, this is a new one, this is not a problem. So uh, all GPO de uh, ports of the, of, the, of the Raspberry Pi itself, they're dig digital. That means, okay, you can give their... Um, the switches uh, vo uh, works uh, usually from uh, 1.2 till 5 volts, so there is no any reason to, let's say, uh, bring any uh, el additional electronics here in order to, let's say, lower the, the input voltage. And that's going to work. But uh, for the older decks, they are, they don't work on discrete electronics. They are, be, uh, the, let's say, the function, their mechanics were driven by relays. And when you go to relays, you have something like uh, much higher voltage and you need two additional electronics to deal with that. So basically, that's the point. That's the the main hardware struggle. And it's uh, it uh, you cannot let's say solve this problem by polymorphism. That means some kind of universal solution. You need to uh, to deal it uh, regarding the which kind of deck do you have in that moment. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, I have a question. What's your favorite cassette that you have? Uh, uh, how, how do you mean? Which, uh, you mean... Uh, in your own collection. In my collection. Um, I have the LP and the CD, two CDs of that two. This is one Halen's 1984. The same music that this guy uh, from two sessions before played here on the synth. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you.
if that's all. Uh, Does anybody want spare deck maybe to start its own? Come on, bring some more little enthusiasm. Yeah, maybe maybe they can reach you out. You should do that when, you, uh, when the kids arrive, you will not have the time for that, so use it. That's it, thank you. Let's give another round of applause. Thank you.